Pat, what issues are at the top of your agenda for this year's annual meeting, especially in your capacity as co-chair? As a co-chair of the annual meeting, part of my focus will be on agriculture's role in the general economic recovery and in the broader long-term issues of serving growing global needs for food and energy. At ADM, we are not farmers or retail food manufacturers. Rather, we connect the harvest to the home, transforming crops into products that serve vital needs for food and energy. We operate one of the world's largest agricultural networks, purchasing, trading, storing, and transporting crops on every continent. At more than 200 facilities around the world, we process almost 7 million bushels a day of soybeans, canola, sunflower, corn, cocoa, and other crops. And we transform these crops into hundreds of food and feed ingredients, fuels, and industrial products that are consumed and used by millions of people every day. So it's from this diverse global position that we see both the growing demand for agricultural products and agriculture's enormous potential to sustainably grow to meet that demand. What does the theme of the meeting, improve the state of the world, rethink, redesign, rebuild, what does that mean for ADM and for your industry? Well, agriculture plays such a fundamental role in the state of the world, yet in other recoveries, agriculture has often been left behind. This time, agriculture must be included. We are working with others at the World Economic Forum to help create a new vision for agriculture that aligns public and private efforts to address food security, to increase agricultural production in an environmentally sustainable manner, and to generate more economic growth and prosperity. As a global agricultural processor, ADM, with our allied industries, can be a major player here in serving growing demand in a responsible, sustainable manner. As a company, we're investing to expand our global sourcing, storage, transportation, and processing capabilities, and completing one of the largest portfolio of capital, of new capital projects ever undertaken in our 107-year history. Investments that together represent over two and a half billion dollars worth of spending. So how can the increased demand for food be met in a manner that's economical and environmentally sustainable? Well, we think increased demand for food, feed, fiber, and industrial products can be met sustainably through a combination of innovation, investment, particularly in infrastructure, and public and private partnerships. We think it starts with ensuring we make the most of what we already produce and that nothing goes to waste. As a CEO of a company active in the post-harvest phase of agriculture, I envision a world where more is done to eliminate waste. Across the globe, from 15 to as much as 50 percent of what is harvested does go to waste. Clearly, protecting the crops already harvested through investment in research and storage, in transportation infrastructure, it's critical to reaching those who need food most. And it can ensure we make the most of the land, water, energy, and other inputs already used. And the next, the next biggest key is probably greater agricultural productivity, including ever higher crop yields. And then we'll need to ensure that innovation and efficiency exist in the new products we make from agricultural inputs. What projects and initiatives are you engaged in with the World Economic Forum? And what drove your choice to partner with the Forum on these projects? We're very active in the New Vision for Agriculture project. It spotlights the vital role of agriculture and the recovery of the global world economy while sustainably meeting the world's needs for food, feed, fiber, and industrial products. Because the World Economic Forum brings together private and public sector leaders, it's a particularly valuable organization for fostering the discussions, the learning, and the partnerships necessary for agriculture to fulfill its potential to serve these vital global needs.